So we're here at the Whiskey Show at the Chichibu stand and we are here with Vinny who is the ambassador for the weekend for Chichibu. Uh, obviously Chichibu is a brand that you cannot find a huge amount of for love nor money. So being able to try it here is a true, true speciality. Vinny, tell us a little bit about the show that you've got, the bottle that you've got for the show here. So yeah, so this is a show bottling. Uh, it is a, a collaboration between the Whiskey Exchange and Chichibu. Okay. Um, there is nine casks to go into this. Uh, so there's one Chibidari. Chibidari is cute cask. So it's a small cask, like a quarter cask. There is a cognac cask, and there is also an Oloroso sherry cask in there, which is heated liquid. Okay. Um, the rest are made up of ex-bourbon casks. This is, we do a bottling of this every year for the show. Uh, this has actually been one of my favorites from the ones I've tried so far. So. Okay. Cool, let's, let's have a little try. Thank you very much. I have to say, one thing I always love about Chichibu is the artwork. The artwork stands out, and we've I got the artwork it, yeah. for this label right behind here. And we have... Vinny, uh, you were telling a little... So, yeah, so we have Raj C to thank for that. So, Raj C is the creative head of creative design for Elixir Distillers. Yep. Uh, he does all of the Chichibu labels for the UK. Uh, he also works on all of the Whiskey Exchange bottling labels as well. Fantastic. Uh, he does a fantastic job. <laughs> really, really cool stuff. I love it. And the liquid is good as ever. Wow. Delicious. Have you been sipping this all weekend, have you? Secretly, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> we won't, we won't. But the thing I find from this is, is the cognac and the sherry really balance out well. I think that's very difficult to do. Um, it, it really is for me. There's always, for me personally, this kind of attention to detail that I find from anything I try from each room. And it's 100% present in this. The interesting thing about this is the peat is really well integrated as well. I know what you mean, the sherry, and you say cognac. Cognac. Sherry and cognac, it's an interesting mix, actually. 100%. And it's interesting because to balance out those flavors, and, and it's very subtle, but as I was saying, the attention to detail in something like this is just to me, it's so impressive. Mm. This is delicious. So what ABV are we looking at? So for this one, we're looking at 51.5. So a nice, healthy ABV. I mean, all of the stuff coming out of Chichibu is generally a decent ABV. They're not watering it down just to get more bottles, are they? Well, this is the thing. There's a very scientific method which goes into deciding the ABV to this. Basically, we line up a load of glasses, see which one tastes best. That's the ABV we bought there. That is science at its best. I like it. All right, Betty, very, very nice. And how many bottles of this are available? So for this one, there are 1,800. 161 bottles. Exclusively available here at the show? Uh, so they will be available via ballot from the Whiskey Exchange. Okay. Anybody who attended the show and bought a ticket will have first access to it. Mm -hmm. This hasn't arrived yet. Because of the situation in the world right now, it is slightly delayed. Of course. However, we do have to be patient but good liquid is worth waiting for. Good things come to those who wait. And less than 2,000 bottles, I don't think you'll be complaining if you're waiting a couple of extra weeks, right? Exactly, exactly. Really, really cool. I love this. So tell us, I mean, look, I don't want to go through all of your whiskeys because we want plenty left for everyone else here. Of course. But is there anything else that you think is worthwhile trying that you'd like to talk to us about? So the one that, for me, really stands out amongst everything that we have um, is actually this. So it's a double distilleries. It's a blend of two distilleries. Chichibu and Komigatake from the Shinshu distillery. Wow. So Shinshu for me, I always found it very stone fruit, apricot, peachy. And the thing is the cast trading has been a thing in Scotland for a very, very long time. It's not so common in Japan. In fact, no. this is the first time that two distilleries have swapped casts of new make wow. and blended them like this. There was two releases, one from us, from Chichibu, yep. and one from Komigatake. Okay. The Komigatake was uh, aged, matured in the Shinshu warehouses, so therefore, a little bit more south, a little bit more wood impact. This is just northwest of Tokyo, a little bit cooler climate, so you really feel the kind of, that little bit of extra aging coming into play. Okay. The Chichibu component for this is roughly seven to 10 years old. Okay. The Shinshu component will be younger, I can't say how much younger, but it will definitely be younger than that. Okay, okay. Fascinating. And again, how many bottles of this and what ABV are we looking at? Uh, so this one, you're up to 10,200 bottles. Okay, this so one, this is a bit more accessible maybe? Yes, this is much more accessible. Okay. Uh, this is currently live on the Whiskey Exchange website. Fantastic. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's a fantastic dram uh, and it is at 53.5%. So last week, um, I was in France celebrating the first anniversary of my relationship with my partner. Oh, and congratulations. I cracked a bottle, thank you. And a I cracked a bottle special bottle opens, for a special occasion. Lovely. Uh, and I still have a partner, so you can tell 
It's not a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> Good, all right. And what I've noticed about the bottle here, it says Icaro's Malt Double Distilleries. Yes. Quite an interesting one, not blended malt. Exactly, so it does, we do have the words blended malt here, uh, but Double Distilleries was a concept in which by Ichiro, so Ichiro's grandfather, uh, Isoji Akuto, founded the Hanyu Distillery. Yep. Now, in 2000, when Hanyu closed, because of a financial decision, the popularity of Japanese whiskey just wasn't there. The yes. demand for it was just not there. They were pouring it down the drains at certain points, right? Exactly, exactly. So it was closed from under Ichiro's management, which is such a shame. And Ichiro purchased all the remaining stock of Hanyu and kept those casks. He released them as the, play, the infamous playing card series. Um, and then the rest of the stock of Hanyu is only going into the double distilleries. It's just a blend of Chichibu and Hanyu exclusively. Okay. It is one of the one of my favorite whiskies and one of the best value for money Japanese whiskies on the market, period. I have to say, this is exceptional. A lot more standard Chichibu flavors 100%. than the first one, which was really 100%. interesting and yes. a bit of a challenge. This one is Chichibu that I know and love. And it's fascinating to know that actually it's not just Chichibu. Yeah. Really, really cool. The thing that I love for this about this myself as well is I found this really lovely, almost like salted honey note. Almost, you feel a kind of tingle on the tip of your tongue, which is like if you've just eaten a, 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 a small like rock crystal of salt. And right, right, right. I love it. I really, really love it. No, I know what you mean. There's that sweetness, but there are elements of those savoriness. Hundred yeah. percent. Again, Delicious. it's all about balance. Biddy, listen, thank you so much for sharing with thank us. Thank you so much. Lovely to hear more about Chichibu. Have thank a wonderful you. weekend. Pleasure, you too. Take Enjoy care. The rest of the show. Thank you very much.